Hello friends, so let's welcome to all of you. So today we will start the understanding of the basic ADI and 214 transaction acts. So this is the shipment status documents. So what is the ADI 214 transaction act? So if we have talked about the based on the accredited standard committee ASX 12 format, the ADI 214 uh, can be used by a transportation carrier to provide shipper consignee and their agent to the status of the shipment, dates, time, and location, routes identifying, numbers, as well as the information concerning uh, shipment and transit. The ADI 214 uh, is therefore a stated document that provides information on where a physical shipment is at any given time. ADI 214 and the communication process. So what are the communication process generally used for just working on the ADI 214 transaction set. The ADI 214 is often used, issued by a transport or logistic company in the response to a request for information for receipts of freight. Basically, the ADI 214 is the equivalent of a fax transmission information, uh, the recipient of the delivery of the status of the shipment and all the example of the ADA 214 might be used uh, using a web-based service to see where shipment in transit like all others all ADA documents uh, the ADA 214 must be generated through the through a specialized applications and ADA translator and then sent to, to the recipient through the some electronic means the sender computers will typically perform the translation of the ADA 214 into a into an ADI format while the communicating communication will take place either through an internet ADI connections or through a value added network. This is the van is called okay. It's the ADI protocol as well. Transmitting of the ADI 214 files. Once the ADI file is ready to send to be signed to, to the recipient, one of one of two methods are going to be generally used. The first and is still most popular method is the use of the van the van acts as an intermediary intermediary between the two parties facilitating facilitating uh, the communication of the ada 214 uh, in this manner van value added network is very uh, similar in the scope of to the usps beyond simply delivery through the van is al also responsible for ensuring that the transmission is secured throughout the entire process this is always uh, paramount, but even more so. A document like the ADA 214 that may include private and confidential information. Another popular option is the use of a direct connection through the internet of, to exchange the ADA 214 between two parties or to link to trading partner as well. This alternative is also known as the AS2 communications uh, applicability statement 2 as well as uh, the ADA protocol known as the AS2 and when is using AS2 send the ADI 214 the document is encrypted at the source and sent using the secure internet based protocol to the recipient uh, which then must have software capable of decrypting the ADA 214 prior to translation. Translating the ADI 214. Once the ADI file is received, and the first step must be to be translated the ADI document and ADI 214, like as like an ADI document is in its native format, is not meant to be read by the human operator. In the translation process, the ADI 214 will be converted into one of the forms, a human readable form, usually in the form of a report that is printed to a physical printer a printer or most would likely into a file format that is easily reported into an accounting or ERP system. The translation of the EDI 214 uh, into this, this more easily integrated uh, format is the first key of the step in the receipt of the EDI 214 before it can be used by the intended recipient. Inter interview questions there might be some interview questions that can be asked in the interview if you are giving your interview in the ADI you want to know something about the questions what might be the questions can be uh, generated and what the questions uh, will be so we will just show you here the ADI transportation carrier shipment 
in the status message it's called the 214 what is an eda 214 transportation carrier shipment status message and eda 214 transaction is a transportation carrier shipment uh, status message that is um, used by transportation carriers like trucking uh, companies to provide a shipper and it comes consign is with a status update on their shipments this is just can be delineated through the purchase order information date of shipment time proof of delivery expected delivery shipment organizations name and addresses shipment location shipment status details description of the shipment routes and identifying numbers these are the information can be included and next was in the how is the EDA 214 trans transportation carrier shipment status message used? How we can use this? A shipper typically required EDA 214 status message based on the various events, including the carrier arrivals and departures from pickup locations. The purpose of this trans uh, transaction type is to allow a transaction carrier the ability to provide shipper and consignees uh, with the status of a given shipment, as with just above about every EDA transaction, the shipper that receives an EDA 214 may choose to send an EDA 997, which is called a functional acknowledgement in a response. Uh, but this is often sub superfluous. Some trading partner may require an extra step. Benefit of the EDA 214 transaction side. There are three primarily primary benefit of the EDA 214. Evaluating carrier performance. The EDA 214 makes it easy for shippers to determine whether a carrier is holding up to its ending of the bar bargains by referencing the first and the last shipment status that retail partner or the other buyer can easily determine if the carrier met the predetermined pre transit schedule. A management of the reception facility facilities because of the EDA 214 give advantage advanced warning of the location and of his shipment and the move until arrival. This efforts uh, the, the retails, retailers or other receiving entity the ability to adjust loading docks and dock schedules and move employees around according to the arrival times. Third is the verification of the entire um, transportation order series. Many retailers and shippers require an ADA 214 because it's straight forward, straight forward to verify the contents of the transportation carrier message, the status message match, those and of the ADA 211 billing one of leading the 850 purchase order and 8 that 210 invoice and the of and of course in the CAC codes as well. So thank you friends. If you like my video, if you are just really interested to just watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe this channel, and I will be posted like the stops of video in the future. Thank you, friends.